Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Plays, number 285. We got a giveaway going on this episode, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, happy belated Turkey Day. All right, let's do this. Starting us off at number 5, we have Ryan Knee on Kennen. The fight for Baron has begun, and Ryan has taken the back door on this one. Ryan slams the arc here with such intensity. Thor himself blesses the Maelstrom with his mighty powers, which allows the red team to come out victorious in the battle and in the war. At number four, we have Ramsey, 75, on Vayne. Ramsey is on the wrong side of a fight that's about to break out. He barely makes it and initiates final hour with primordial burst. Use Ramsey knows it's go time. He tumble cleanses through the event horizon, kites Cassocks down, flashes deadly flourish and pulverize and picks up the quadra. And you may have missed it, but luckily Ramsey barely took down Irelia with red buff and that helps him get that sweet, sweet penta. At number three, we have Azaza on Ari. We jump into the action immediately. Aza catches Lucian and bursts him down to half health. And with the blue team cornered in the jungle, she starts up her spirit rush and lobs out a great orb hitting both Lucian and Lowie. She dodges Aqua Prison with another charge of rush and catches herself a double kill. Sonic Wave is nullified by Zonia's and while her team steps in for the cleanup, she is able to pick up a triple and a sense of accomplishment. That Scatter the Weak living up to its name. At number two, we have Land Mango on Zed. A fight near Dragon isn't working out for Mango's team. As soon as he arrives, he opens up with a Living Shadow Shuriken into a Shadow Slash, gets the double, and blocks an incoming Ace in the Hole with Death Mark. Talon gets some damage off before going down. He shifts to his Death Mark Shadow, flashes into a bush after using his damage abilities, which forces Caitlyn to face check him. He Living Shadows to evade the trap and barely gets the Quadra. Take a look again at the smooth moves. And at number one, we've got a massive wombo combo coming in from Expire Rice on Oriana. The blue team is about to take Baron, and there's not much the red team can do about it. Well, there is one thing. Set up a insane shockwave using Rengar's ultimate. Seeing that this is a high diamond game, that was literally a 2k elo shockwave. And sadly, the Baron buff had a short life expectancy for the blue team. And for our bonus play, we have Fuego on Rise. Fuego has a massive hit squad after him, but Lee Sin comes to the rescue and it insta-gives the enemy Lux. However, this puts him into a bad spot. He safeguards over the wall only to get snared down by Nautilus's passive. He does have Guardian's Angel, so Rise flashes in, channels his Realm Warp, Zonia's, and just as Lee Sin's Guardian Angel resurrects him, they both are safely evacuated. Thanks again for commenting us your SKT skin ideas on episode 283, and congratulations to the HyperX winner, X Dude. We're giving away another one this episode, and in order to enter, make sure to like this video and comment a response to this question beneath this video. All right, here's the question. Trick2G recently announced he is making an LCS team called Team Gates. If you could pick any streamer or YouTuber to make a team, who would it be and what would their team name be? If you don't win the giveaway, don't be disheartened. The Cloud Revolver is a great headset, only priced at 50 bones. If you want to pick up a pair for yourself or for a dope Secret Santa present, check out the link in the description box underneath this video. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked the episode, make sure to subscribe. We would love to have you back. Thank you again for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.